Hello everyone, this is Mark with MrHurricaneTracker.webs.com. Today is February 6, 2012. I'd like to bring up another update on what's happening in the earthquake in the Philippines. It says 53 people dead. And this report comes straight from the Extinction Protocol 2012. I'll post the link in the description of the video below on each story. It says here that the Filipino officials say a strong earthquake has rocked central Philippines, killing at least 53 people and causing widespread damage and power outages. The USGS or the U.S. Geological Survey says the 6.8 magnitude struck late Monday morning at a depth of 20 kilometers. The quake was centered in a narrow strait just off Negros Islands. Authorities say the landslide, which was a landslide, killed 29 people. Others were killed in buildings and homes that collapsed on Negros, including the seaside town of La Libertad. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. Dozens of people are still missing. Numerous aftershocks continued to shake the island after hours of the quake. Officials say there is no concern of tsunami. However, the coastal towns nearby were hit by large waves. Now, there was a tsunami warning alert issued because of these large waves. And the reason why they issued it is because of the waves triggered that tsunami warning. Now, a lot of people panicked during this situation, thinking that there was a major tsunami heading their way. So a lot of people were leaving their homes and rushing out of their homes and rushing out of schools. Uh, apparently a child died and uh, during this panic, the child died and that was because of the panic that was issued by the tsunami warning. So I'd also like to read another story that they have here about what is causing these earthquakes. Uh, the situation looks like to be seismic activity, guys. It says 6.7 earthquake strikes current seismic Seismicity in the Philippines and tectonic plates agitation increases. So here's the problem. There's the image here. I'll post the link again in the description of the video for this story to show you where the seismic stress is in the area of the Philippines and it's right around the area of the earthquakes. So as I stated before in an earlier video, then I do believe that there are more earthquakes, it's maybe aftershocks headed your, your way in the Philippines. We'll have to watch the area real close. Uh, it might not be over, so let's stay updated on what's happening. It says the Philippines, like Japan, sits on the, one of the most violent tectonic areas on Earth. Unlike Japan, though, the Philippines is under the geological assault from plate movements on all sides. Now, they, they're talking about the plates on all sides causing po possible more earthquakes and aftershocks right now. Uh, it says here, the Philippines islands are surrounded by a complex of plate boundaries and the Philippine plate rather consists of several micro plates squeezed in between two convergent plate margins. The, now the arrows and information on this uh, image will show you where the most seismic activity is and where we have to watch. And again, of course, for all of you who know, this is a new earthquake hotspot for Mr. Hurricane Tracker to watch and keep an eye on. There is a lot more information on there. So again, this is caused by seismic activity and the plates, uh, stress relief. And of course, I have to continue to keep you posted and updated. Again, my, uh, my heart goes out to you guys having to have to deal with this situation. People dying because of these earthquakes. Again, I'll post the link in the description of the video on both of these stories. Um, don't forget to stay tuned to Mr. Hurricane Tracker. I'll continue to keep you updated and posted on this breaking news story. Again, thank you for watching. Please rate, subscribe, and comment, and have a great day.